Greetings Earthlings, welcome back to my channel. And hey, if you're new here, hi, my name's Raquel and I'm so happy you're here today because you know what? It's gonna be, it's gonna be a fun project. Um, I might be in a little over my head. Uh, cue, what is that? Like Sum 41 song? Uh, <laughs> but I'm really, really excited to have been invited to an epic, massive, project. My good friend Zorpa Zorp has been working on a colossal build of Minas Tirith, the White City from Lord of the Rings, you might know it as. And when he invited me to join on this project, um, I had to say yes, even though I am going to be for sure the biggest noob in this group. But I'm honored, I'm excited, and the good news is I have a template to work off of, so that is a huge jump start for me. I'm gonna be building a building <laughs> to contribute to the city. And I'm not really sure what this building is, kind of in my mind, it's just a little apothecary background shop, something like that. But I'm excited. I've only ever made kind of silly structures before, so this kind of terrain, this kind of crafting is not my forte, but something I think I need to practice. And I'm excited to give it another try. I think it's gonna be good. This template is is the cheat code I, I didn't even know I needed. All right, I think we gotta start this project by making an insane amount of little foam bricks. So um, yeah, we better get started because I'm sure that will take like approximately like six years to finish. Cool. All right, let's go. I'm pretty much where I wanna be as far as adding bricks onto this build, and I'm pretty happy with how it's coming along and how it looks like an actual building. Again, wild, considering normally the things I make look like they were designed by a five-year-old. Here are the things I'm thinking about that I want to add onto this building right here. So next up, I think I'm gonna try to use a technique that I've seen Eric use on his channel to make some shingles for the roof. I don't have a cereal box, which is what he uses in his videos, but I do have an old calendar that has really thick kind of cardstock material. So I think that's gonna be a good repurposing of an old calendar. Hopefully it works out. And I want to add some columns Right now it's just cardboard there and I wanna add a door and I'm gonna use clay. You know, like there's definitely other materials I could use, but like I am really comfortable with clay. I really like using clay and I've made a couple of clay doors in the past that I thought turned out really good. I'm just gonna stick with that. Like why mess with success if it's something that works for me and I have fun with, right? Right, you get it. And the last of the big things that I wanna add on to this building is I want to make some little stained glass windows. And I'm certain that I could easily look up some tutorials for how to do this, but I have an idea. And here's my idea. Here's my vision for making these windows. I am going to cut out some more of that like plastic from berry containers and sandwich containers, like stuff I've been saving. And I'm gonna paint, like reverse paint the inside with like mainly acrylic and then on the outside, I might even use a little bit of nail polish. I think nail polish will work really well for like my vision. I don't know. This probably sounds like nonsense, but in my head, 
I think that will work. All right, tons to do today. Let's get after it. So I thought I was super clever and I was like, I'm gonna try to make a little clay mold out of clay for clay for the columns. And it worked pretty good. It's, it was too thin and it broke in half. So it's like not the tool I dreamed it would be, but it's definitely saving me a little bit of time and it was a good experiment and it can be done better. Next time I can do it better. So just a good example of just, you should always try things. Experiment, you never know what you might learn. And this might come in handy in the future. All right, enough chit chat. Still tons of work to do over here. So the building is done and I am so stoked on it. And I'm really proud of it, honestly. Like it's not something I would normally choose to make for myself. So just pushing through and trying new things was kind of a meaningful process for me. And I'm so thankful that Zorpa Zorp invited me to be a part of this collab. If you like this project, be sure to check out all of my friends' videos because I'm sure their builds will be way better than mine. They're way more experienced in this kind of terrain and crafting. But for now, let me show you the product shots and then let's get this little building off to Australia, off to Zorpa Zorp. Okay. If you're still here, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making this little building. And 
I really appreciate you being here. I wanted to give an extra big thank you to, to my patrons. Without the support from my patrons, I cannot justify continuing to make all of these videos, all of these projects. Your support really, it goes a long way. And Django and I are so thankful. See, see how thankful he is? All right, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video or my next live stream or my next Instagram post. I don't know, I'll see you somewhere. All right, bye. Hype, hype, get pumped, get pumped. Woo, woo, woo. It's nighttime, but let's pretend it's daytime and nobody is tired. Do y'all see this? Do you see what happened to my face? Somebody, who I won't name names, scratched my face pretty bad while I was sleeping. Oh my goodness, are you coming up here? Are you gonna come up, can you make it? You did, almost didn't make it. The little dog here. Cause you're excited too. Yeah, you're really making it hard to get any filming done. And we can't fault you. We can't be mad at you. Cause you're just a baby. Cause you're just a little baby dog. You don't know any better. <laughs>